So they still that dog. I think they have a dog. No, I'm right. They don't have a dog. If they did, I could play with it. It's let's see. They got a mindless banner. Who has the dog? Tam. If he's coming, maybe he'll bring the dog. We need a dog. You know, they devote so much time to being miserable, they wouldn't have time for a dog. Instead, they uh, expose us to secondhand marriage, which is the leading cause of singleness. You know, hey, Bob, want to go to a Dodger game this weekend? Uh, sorry, baby shower on Friday, then off to bed, bath, me on, and look for treatments. Treatments for what? Where are you? Why are you parking here? We're so far away. Do you even know what street this is? No. Hey, Phil. Can you not show naked pictures of me to your friends tonight? What? I know you do it. Not here, not tonight. I, oh, you don't show any? Please. You don't show the naked pictures of mine? What, show the one and only dick picture you sent me? I've sent you more. It's the same pose every time. Oh, yeah? Well, women have tons of sexy poses. We have one. And you have to get good lighting, a background item for perspective, and you always Shh. have to get it at full erection. I said shut up! Now, the only one could spice it up is a dress up like a chat for a fireman or I something like that. I said shut this. up! I don't recognize any cars. Seriously? None. We're the first. All right, let's go. Hell yeah. Hi, guys! Uh, uh Sabrina, Mac, you here for the party? Uh, of course, aren't you guys? Uh... Oh. You guys were supposed to bring a dessert. Oh, yeah. Um, I ate that. That was weird. It was cake batter. Thought it was pudding. Yeah. Been there. Why are you guys leaving? We're not leaving. We're pausing. We'll be back later. Later? The party's already started. I mean, we're late as it is. Yeah, but we're the first ones to get here. Unacceptable. Oh, come on. Yeah, sneak in, sneak out. You're the first to arrive. You're required to stay the entire time. That's ridiculous. No, that's party law. Well, whatever. Mac and I are going in. Well, Mac, I'd say you're a better man than me, but we both know that ain't true. See you in 15. Oh, well, that's 15 minutes of the party you're gonna miss then. However will we survive? No one's there yet? It's like school on Saturday. Okay, so now what? Now we wait. For what? For some other sucker couple to show up. We're just gonna sit here and wait? Or be the first losers in. All right, who else is coming? Because if it's just us, we're in for a long day of hiding. Okay, uh, Seth and Katie are coming, and I think they invited Jeff and Jamie. Uh, both the Barbaras and Michael and Colleen. Okay, and Wayne and that girl he's seen, whatever her name is. Ugh. Oh, um, Amanda. Is Wayne really coming? I think so. Dragging along his teenage girlfriend? Teenager. Yeah, she's like in her 20s. Well, he's 40, so it's creepy. I keep thinking Chris Hansen is gonna bust through the door every time they're around. I know, he's been towing that legal line ever since he divorced Denise. If I left you today, how long till you be with a girl half your age? I don't know, when's school out? Jerk. Women so don't do that. Oh yeah, you know why? Because cougars don't exist. See, if a guy does it, he's just being a guy. If a girl does it, she's labeled. It's such a double standard sport. It's like being a pedophile. Women have to go through years of schooling and obtain a teaching degree. Men just need the internet and some Mike's Hard Lemonade. Is there anybody else here yet? Because I really gotta pee. I don't know where to look. Hey, Wayne. Phil. Everyone. So what, you were just sitting in your car? You were blocking my door. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, for you. So, you guys just now getting here? Yeah. I just got out of school. So you guys are all hiding because you don't want to be the first ones in? Don't judge us for trying to time it right. Right. Who are we to judge? So why are they having the party for anyway? Uh, housewarming. After 10 years? I, I don't think so. I mean, it's got to be for his new job. He has a new job? You're his best friend and you don't know this. I'm not his best friend. Wayne is. I only met him through my ex. Which ex was that? Don't get all up in my face because I've discovered the secret of marriage. Okay, I'll bite. Term marriage, it's brilliant. Okay, think of marriage as an election. Let's say I want to marry you. <laughs> Dream it. If I did, I would nominate myself to be your husband. Anybody could do it. And then the nominees would campaign to your friends and family, and on election day they vote, and the winner is your new spouse. Does this keep you up at night? It gets better. In today's marriage, people give up. I think love is forever and they slack off, but with my plan, 
got to keep a high approval rate. You got to stay in the game. You can't get fat and lazy. You'd have to run again in four years. So then after four years, I could run. Yeah, away or for a second term. And in the event of a tie? Penis size. I, I win. <sighs> what about children? Oh, this is brilliant. Let's say we decided to have kids. Yeah, cue the rapture. We would present it as a bill to our friends and family. Unsuited for parenthood, it's vetoed. Proactive Darwinism. Isn't going fly in Kentucky. There are other factors involved, like infidelity impeachments and vice husbands, but it's basically a solid idea and it wipes out divorce. How's that? If you want out, you don't run in the second election. You just retire to Maine and write your memoirs. Play golf with the other ex-husband. So hard to believe you're divorced. I love it. Nice story, Wayne, but why are we here? The party is for Adam. His new business partner. Oh, what's his new business? Team building. He started back in January and it's doing really well, so we bought on Adam to help with the workload and create some equity. When did all this happen? Before he got fired, he went on that team building trip and he thought it'd be a great business idea. He got fired? Laid off. Yeah, the moving company let him go. S.C. Johnson. What? Why didn't he ask us to help? He did. What did we say? So what, you're his new best friend now? Actually, I've only met him the one time, but it seems like I'm the only one that employs listening skills. So what, we're not good enough to be Steve's friend anymore? You're hanging outside his house to avoid spending too long at his party. Yeah, he's blessed. All right, you know what, maybe it's time we go in. You're starting to feel guilty too. No, I just really have to pee. Well, we'll look like dicks if we all go in at once. You going first, then? I'm not going in first, you're up, BFF. What if two couples go in first? Carpool? It would give us an excuse to all leave at the same time. You guys are special. Hey, who's that? It's Adam. His picture's on their website. They have a website? You too. Oh, great. Then he goes in first. Jesus, Mac! Um, his newest friend can't go in first. Why? I look like a better friend. He is. We need to stop him! Here he comes. What do we say? We could just introduce ourselves like civilized people. Did you guys just call me? Hey, hey, what's uh, up? Just going to a party? Are you also invited? Yeah, uh, we just got here. Good. I had to wait for the casserole to finish and was running late. We were walking empty handed, you know? So, how did you know my name? Steve's website. So, you're the man of the hour. Yeah, I guess. It's a little embarrassing. We heard it was a meet and greet. We've heard so many good things about you. I'm sure they've been going on about us too. Oh, definitely. Uh, Stacy and Kyle. They're not uh, here yet. Guess they're not that great. Not like us. We got here 20 minutes ago. I thought you just arrived. Uh, we did. <laughs> Parking's a bitch. We drive a BMW. Oh, I heard about you. Uh, Clark and Michelle. Uh, you went on the cruise together. Uh, yeah, car crash parents. Oh yeah, you know that was a horrible tragedy. We we couldn't go. Well. It's getting pretty late, so why don't we take this inside? <laughs> now, all of us? You think that's kind of weird? What? Yeah, you know, uh, we should break it up. Yeah, we don't want to gang rape him. Get, uh, rush him. I don't think it really matters. We'll go first! What? Yeah, you know what? Uh, we'll go in and you guys count to 50. 100. And then uh, you, you guys follow us in afterwards. We'll take one for the team. Why don't we just all go in together? Wait, wait, wait. Since we, could... we were the first to arrive, maybe. I was trying to go in, but you were blocking my door. We thought you were a pervert. We were doing the neighborhood watch thing. You're an idiot. Look, we'll go in first. You guys walk around the block and then come in after. Okay, well, this is fun, but uh, if you don't mind, I'm going inside. <laughs> what are you doing? We can't let him go in first. Uh, you guys are crazy. Yeah, well, we don't want to let Steve know uh, that. Can't we just lock him in your car? We'd have to uh, tie him up. Uh, what? What if we drive him home? Where does he live? Downey. How do you know all this? He'll just call and rat us out. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, what the fuck? What did you do? That. I think he's dead. Really? How would you know? You see a lot of dead bodies? Okay, you know what? I don't see a lot of live bodies that look like this. What were you thinking? You wouldn't stop whining about that fucking guest in this fucking party. Now we don't even have to go. What have you done? We? I didn't do anything. Calm down, Sabrina. We're all in this together. Oh, no. I didn't do a fucking thing. Hey, you're with us? 
or with him. <sighs> okay, you need to calm down, sweetheart. <sighs> so now what? We go home. What about him? <sighs> Random act of violence. So... So we leave. I mean, they'll be pissed you flakes didn't show, but they'll get over it. Right, so we're out of here. Okay, adios. So see you next time. We'll bring the shovel. Yeah, let's do this again real soon. Now I know a lonely mind will be the death of me.